dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ in the beautiful name of Jesus i wish you a very happy feast of palm sunday though the present situation not allowing us to gather in the church and go in procession to celebrate the messiah jesus christ but the word of god takes us to the real experience what jesus wants to give an each and every one of us palm sunday is the day where we are entering into the holy week gathering together carrying the palm leaves in in our hands singing hosanna to the son of david and going in the procession entering into the jerusalem these are the remembrance of the days when jesus was sat on the donkey and the people who took him into the city of jerusalem solemnly by singing hosanna in this palm sunday we are a call to reflect about a few things that is involved in this feast the first thing is donkey book of zakaria chapter 9 verse 9 says the redeemer will sit on donkey and enter into jerusalem it is already foretold and second thing palm leaves where the first king chapter 6 was 29 second chronicle 35 these are the places gives the references people for any function uh, they will uh, decorate the city with the palm leaves and thirdly spreading the clothes people in front of the donkey they covered the road with uh, with their clothes it's a symbol of honoring and accepting jesus christ as a king to enter into their heart as well as enter into the city and fourth thing they are singing hosanna the real meaning of hosanna is redeemer redeemers jesus is a redeemer is a savior is going to save us so out of their joy they sang hosanna glory to god praise to god so these are the four aspects are involved in today's gospel the first reading is taken from the book of isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 to 7 here we have to stop and think something deeply about the messiah in the old testament every prophecies that was spoken by the prophets are completely thoroughly filled and fulfilled in jesus christ life uh, today through the prophet isaiah the character of messiah is revealed while we are catching the palm leaves celebrating christ this word we should remember the first thing verse 5 isaiah chapter 50 verse 5 says the messiah who is going to come he will not rebel he will not afraid of enemy and show his back he will dare lead to go and the third thing he freely gave his back for his enemy to beat him up was six and he showed his cheeks to be slapped and to be plucked out the beard and sixth thing fifth thing he did not cover his face he showed his face to be spit to be insulted this five things are going to happen to the messiah all the jews were thinking the messiah would be like a king come with the authority come with a wild animal like horse and conquer the kingdom he will rule the whole world 
under his throne this was the idea but the second reading philippians chapter 2 verses 6 to 11 says paul who knows the scripture thoroughly he understood the isaiah prophecies were fulfilled in jesus christ that's why in chapter 2 verse 6 he says though jesus was in the form of god he humbled himself he came down and became like one of us servant and obedient obedient even unto the death so god looked at his humility his character his sacrifice he raised him above he raised his name above the, all the name and god says philippians chapter 2 verse 9 because god greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name raised his name above all every knee should bow every tongue will confess in heaven and on earth and under the earth everywhere every tongue will confess that jesus is christ jesus is the lord verse 10 and 11 says the entire world will recognize will accept jesus as god so my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ celebrating the palm sunday is not just in shaking the leaf and singing osan and go but in the person of jesus the promise that was told through the prophet isaiah was fulfilled jesus came to fulfill the law every law every prophecies that was spoken earlier it is fulfilled in jesus christ even today in the gospel matthew chapter 26 verse 14 onwards verse 24 says the son of man goes and is going to be arrested and they will kill him jesus knew what is going to happen in jerusalem knowing that as we read in the first reading he did not show his back is going towards the jerusalem from the day when jesus began his ministry his focus towards jerusalem his purpose of coming he wants to fulfill the purpose of his is coming and that is sh- that should happen in jerusalem so he moves towards jerusalem as a king of god selecting a donkey which was not used by anybody and he sat on it and he enters and all the people spreading the clothes and accept him as a king and singing hosanna to him he enters to jerusalem that means jesus willingly going to jerusalem to die to face the evil face to face this is the battle between jesus and satan the promised messiah have come to deliver his people to make their hearts as the dwelling place of god delivering the world from the all the clutches of satanic power from the sin from the curse from the sickness from the bondages from the fear and he is going to regain the entire world once again he is going to give back this world to the father as holy it was every move that jesus took towards jerusalem is already foretold praise the lord today the long reading says how much jesus is going to oh, going through the passion the word passion reveals the passion of christ though the mother has uh, frightened of giving delivery but already her heart would be passioned 
with the baby to whom she is going to give birth so now jesus with the passion he enters into jerusalem and he is praying the getsemani taking the three disciples and they are sleeping asking them to be aware and to pray but they slept all alone nobody was with jesus all alone he faced the temptations he conquered the devil by saying lord let your will be done so the persecutions arrest and all the things are happening happening today uh, you can read in the gospel matthew 26 11 to 27th chapter 66 praise the lord as we are going to enter into the holy week new situation nobody thought that we would be inside of the house and nobody thought that the situation will uh, control us but for the good we are inside but we are the temple of god we are free to pray 24 hours is in our hand to worship god so donkey if you are humble enough god is willing to sit on you in the tender leaves shows new kingdom is going to be come going to be established the palm tree looks very tall and straight so the uh, the strongest kingdom is going to built by jesus to welcome jesus what are the things i have to lose i will lose to throw my like throw uh, my garments in front of him i throw my pride i throw myself before god that i may be an instrument in his hand to carry his mission to all the streets and i will sing hosan to my lord acts of the apostles chapter 16 verse 21 onwards we see paul in the prison he was praising god we are christian are called we are new israel israel people we are called purposely to worship god no other we are called to worship the lord god chose us that we sing his glory when all the people were praising jesus out of jealous they said tell the people to keep quiet but jesus said to them if they don't shout even the sh- stones will shout and my dear children give praise to god welcome jesus into our city into our heart into the world so far we kept him outside today this palm sunday we are solemnly taking jesus into our city into our house into our heart let us celebrate the palm sunday with meaningfully let us humble ourselves like a donkey always you pray let your kingdom come by carrying the palm tree palm leaves and throw off yourself lord in front of you i am nothing in order to possess you i consider everything nothing you say and welcome jesus by singing hosanna to the lord there is only one god who is worthy to be praised is jesus there is only one god who died for his people that is jesus christ it is only one god who is going to come again time to take his people and go to the place where where he prepared room for room for them is jesus christ your god is alive live like a people of christ live like a people of god true god worship him celebrate him let his his, his name be glorified all through my life this palm sunday may bring lot of joy and peace to this nation as well as to your family let us pray together loving father we thank you and praise you for your son jesus christ who express your exact image to us in him through him we come to know about you your love your concern about us following believing his words let us reach you safely in heaven and have eternal life with you we make this prayer through christ our lord amen 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.